How do you live your life? Do you make decisions with your mind or with your brain and logic, or do you make decisions with your heart, with your feelings and emotions? Let me show you in this video how you can start living from your heart so that you'll be free from fear, you'll be free from the shackles of fear and doubt and worry. What if you're able to live from your passion and from your purpose that comes from your heart? What I'm about to share with you is something that I learned personally in my life. I used to have a business that was very successful, but the only reason I ran it was just to be profitable and make money. And even though I made money, I was never really happy because it never came from my heart. But once I turned that around and started operating a business out from my heart, out of care, out of passion, then everything changed. And I was able to not only be very successful financially, but also be very happy and very fulfilled at the same time. So what I'm about to share with you and what you're about to see is a lesson from one of my courses that's valued over $1,000. And now you're gonna learn about this absolutely free. So pay close attention because what you're about to learn may transform your life. That and more is coming up. Fear, how about this? So who has fear? Let's say you're about to do a presentation in front of people. You're about to um, go for a job interview. You're about to meet somebody for a first date. So you have this anxiety, you have this fear. One really good way to, do it, to deal with this is just shout, primal shout. All right, like, ah, like that. Okay? You, do you see like the animal kingdom? You see, watch Natural Geographic or whatever, okay? What happens when, they, when the bear feels danger? Or what happens when a lion feels danger? What happens when a dog feels danger? What do they do? They make a big noise. They go, rah, they, or they, they get really big. Do you think they have fear? Of course they have fear. We all have fear. But then when they shout, it prepares them for battle. And then it activates their body so that they can actually defend themselves. And engage, exactly. So when you do a shout or a primal shout, you know, like an animal, right? You don't, do, you don't do this in the date, okay? Like do this before when no one's watching. <laughs> okay? So then, then, um, then what it gives you is it gives you courage. It gives you like energy to like to fight basically, right? Because it's either fight or flight. You only have those two mechanisms in your, in your mind. So you don't want to be, you don't want to run away because then, well, unless you have to, right? But then if you, if you really want to nail that job interview or nail that presentation or really, um, you know, impress your date, then you have to have that confidence. So that's one way to get, get over your fear. It's just shout. Another way is tactical breathing, okay? So this is good for actual self-defense. If you learn martial arts and self-defense, tactical breathing. Guess what happens when you get attacked? You tend to tense up and not breathe. And then what happens is then you start getting, becoming too defensive. And the more defensive you are, then the more the other person attacks. So that's the opposite of what you want in a self-defense situation. So what do you gotta do? Tactical breathing, go like that. Just breathe deeply. Nobody's going to punch, nobody's gonna get mad at you if you breathe harder, okay? So whenever you feel in a threatening situation, just breathe deeper. And what that does is just keeps your energy going so that when you have to defend yourself, then at least you have the oxygen, okay? Because if you get in a real fight, oxygen is very important. You're gonna run out really quickly, okay? And if you can't breathe, you, you can't think. If you can't think, then you can't defend yourself, okay? So uh, go back a little bit. Another one is to thump your chest, okay? So I got my mic on, I'll do it lightly, like, like, like the uh, King Kong. Like that. All right, looks funny. And again, don't do this on the date, do this before the date. And what that does is the same thing, okay? You see animals do this, why do they do this? Why does do they do this like before they fight or when they want to posture and then make everybody know that they're the boss? They do it because it's the natural way of increasing that adrenaline, increasing that confidence inside them. So why don't we learn from animals? We are animals, right? We all mammals. So do that, do thump your chest, do a primal shout, right? Puff your chest up, take deep breaths before you go into attack, okay? Because that's what they do. They take a deep breath and then they pounce, right? So do the same thing. If you're about to do something that you need to do, let's say, um, <laughs> let's say you're doing bungee jumping, what do you usually do? You take a deep breath and then you jump, right? Okay, so 
taking a deep breath before you go is very important. So every time you feel yourself having fear, just take a deep breath. And then go and just do it. All right, so that's a tip for you. Hey, do you like what you're watching so far? I've got a lot more content for you that you're going to love. So make sure you go and click these videos here and watch them next. If you haven't subscribed to this video, click the subscribe button here. And if you haven't taken the Qi Energy score, click the link in the description below to take the quiz.